killer son, who real son, army fatigue knife nigga with a gun. Uh, oh, uh, pardon me, pardon me, I'm back, I'm back. Man, do a killer. Yo, subscribe to the channel. That's different, so watch it begin. It'll be so much blood coming from your ass, niggas gonna think you a set trip. I'm gonna scramble, I'm gonna scramble your egg, then break fast. Wait for my period to come on, then stuff my panties with your great flag. <laughs> Crazy recap, Arsenal and QB. I want to give a shout out to ARP, Lawrence, Death the God, Shaktas, you know what I'm saying? The whole RB family, real talk. Um, <clears throat> yo, we got some exclusive information for y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it over here at MDKS, man, do a killer son. We bring you that shit. Um, we got Blood, Sweat, and Tears 5 dropping May 6th. Yo, I should have. I wanted to bring this information to y'all yesterday, but I wanted to formulate everything right. So, um, you getting it today? Blood, sweat, and tears. Five is dropping May sixth. Um, I got a little preview into the um the, the card. The card is crazy. Trust me, you gonna see some battle rappers that you wanna see go at each other. Salute, salute to ARP Lawrence and the whole RB family. This card. Already, I just heard like two or three matchups, and already I'm like, yo, I don't even need to hear no more. I don't even need to hear no more. That's to tell you how real this shit is, alright? So if you're looking for bars, if you're looking for, you know what I'm saying, disrespect, if you're looking, whatever you're looking for, this card is gonna happen. Trust me when I tell you. So, shout out to them for that. And when I get more information, when I could reveal some things, I'll reveal some things, but we're gonna leave it like that for now. Um, get into this recap. I'm, a, I'm not gonna even hold y'all. This this recap, I feel as though QB clearly won this battle. When I watched it live, it was a little bit, um, it was hard for me to decide who won because I was just, I was sorta um, so entertained by the physicalness and the stuff that was going on, I really forgot about, you know, whose balls was really hitting, why it was hitting, and what was important. So now that I had a chance to sit back and like observe, you know, um, really what happened was I felt as though QB battled Arsenal, and Arsenal didn't battle QB, and there's a difference. Here's the difference. The difference is when someone is battling you, they are battling everything about you. That means any fights you had that was all publicized, any um, battles you had, your uh, public persona, your personal persona, things that's going on on the gram, Twitter, all of that, they take the time, they discover all of these things about you, and then they cleverly put it together in a form of three rounds of a fire against you. And I felt that QB took her time, did her homework, and she battled Arsenal. And I felt Arsenal had a battle, but did not battle the person that was in front of him. He just pretty much said something that everybody knows. We all know that QB is gay. We all know that QB like women. He spent three rounds pretty much talking about her being a dyke or being gay. And 
you know, kind of did a little. You he still stunning. stunning. You for real bluffing. You out here fucking bitches with a strap on and you moaning, knowing damn well you don't feel nothing. Get that you a bitch still. You out here talking like your dick real. <laughs> bitch, you'll never get the experience that ah, as soon as you stick in the tip fill. <laughs> Of what Math did. Now Math was was not good against Show Off, but the angle was just the same all three rounds. And you're dealing with an intelligent crowd. You're dealing with a crowd. When you're talking about the fans of battle rap, they're a lot more intelligent, uh, perceptive. They have a lot more intricacies to their their their, their listening flavor. And if you're a, a battle rapper now, you have to do a lot more than the battle rapper then had to do. And with all that being said, QB had a lot of material out there that Arsenal could have grasped that I felt. Q, I mean, Arsenal could have talked about the fight that QB had at Queen of the Ring. He could have talked about Nunu Nails and QB. He could have talked about some of her previous battles. Instead, he kind of gave us like old jokes and jokes that kind of look like something you would get, you know what I'm saying, out of a, you know, a, a, a book of cards or something, a book of a thousand jokes, you know what I mean? He had some quick punchlines, but it really could have been against, the problem I have with the battle with that Arsenal, you know, his performance was, he could have had that performance against any gay female battle rapper. He could have took all of his balls and had that against any gay female battle rapper, and it would have fit. And that's what I don't like. Like QB, if you listen to her boss, she started talking about him, Suge, and Surf, and how they edit Dirty Dirty Laundry. Talk about him being a set a, a set switcher or set tripping, you know, and the blood and the crips. You know, she started talking about the trick trick thing. She didn't spend a lot of time on trick trick because we know that angle has been said before. So she gave you a quick line on trick trick and she went into some other shit about how, you know, y'all supposed to be boys, but y'all airing out your dirty laundry is, uh, you know, the Newark niggas and all of that. And I felt that she gave you a nice blend. Yeah, there's some tranny talk in there. There's some gay talk in there against him. But she kept it moving. She kept the topics moving. It wasn't the same thing every time. And again, they they do focus on disrespect. And here's the funny thing. Here's what I'll leave y'all with. They were supposed to be the battle of disrespect. But really, they seemed to be the battle of the bullies. You know what I mean? Like, they were more bullying each other and feeling each other up and pushing each other and physicalness than the battle of the bullies, which was Math and Show Off. Math and Show Off had some disrespect in there and they were supposed to be the battle of the bullies, but I feel Arsenal and QB gave you a battle of disrespect and definitely gave you a battle of bully, uh, the battle of the bullies. It almost was like a two and one. So salute to them, it was a highly entertaining battle. Even though I felt I'll give it to QB 3-0, it's a light 3-0. I don't know if somebody want to give Arsenal a round. I'm not going to be upset if somebody gave Arsenal a round, but I feel it's a 3-0, but it's a light 3-0. It wasn't a body 3-0. Uh, you know, I felt QB had a couple of dry areas that, that it wasn't like like crazy. It wasn't like when, you know, I don't know. It, it wasn't like official jazz or jazz QB. Uh, um, it wasn't like uh, official jazz or jazz in 40 bars. It wasn't, it wasn't like any of those battles, but it might have been a light 3-0. You know what I'm saying? She had some stuff in there. It was a good battle. Um, you know what I'm saying? Worth watching. Um, you know, put some clips in there. But, um, yo, salute, salute to RBE and the whole staff. Salute to every member of RBE. Definitely trend setting. And there's a bar that Averb said that I thought was funny. He said that you don't even dyke right. The only person that dyke right is Averb mother. And Averb was in the building. So I thought that was funny. That was disrespectful even with Averb being in the building. Um, anyway, yo, Mad Dog, salute, salute, subscribe. And yo, I will be in the building for Blood, Sweat, and Tears 
5, May 6. Holla at your boy. I'm all the way up. 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 I